Friends of Model Trains, welcome to another video in our Digital for Beginners series. In today's video, I would like to show you how to program using the Z21 app locomotive decoder. Now we reach the last tab in the Z21 control app, the CV programming. You have several options here for programming locomotives. One is on the programming track, and then there's the so-called POM programming. Program on main means programming on the main track. You can program the locomotive and change all the values while it is standing on the main track. Only the locomotive address should really be changed separately on the programming track. In addition, it is possible to use the normal manual programming function where you can change the locomotives or the locomotive data per CV. The app shows you briefly what the standardized CV values mean. CV2, for example, is the startup voltage, which determines the minimum speed of the locomotive. Here you can see a brief explanation of the standardized CV values, showing what you can change with the respective value. If you click on Read, the appropriate value is read for the locomotive. You can change it then by tapping. Let's say the locomotive is too slow or too fast. In this case, we can make the locomotive a bit faster. Set CV means that the value is being written. If you now read the CV value again, the changed value is shown directly. That's how to change all the CV values in the locomotive. One interesting thing about POM programming is that you can edit the locomotive whilst it's moving on the track. You might well ask, why would I want to do that? For example, if you want to change the volume, you can do this using the slide control. What do I mean by that? Let's change our drive menu, switch the sound on, and have our locomotive start off. Now you can adapt the volume to your own requirements directly while the locomotive is moving. In this way, you don't have to enter a random value beforehand, but rather can adjust the sound based on the actual volume of the moving locomotive until it suits your needs. You can actually program this live whilst the locomotive is underway. Also, you can quickly change the important CVs. Minimum and maximum speeds, starting off and brake retardation can be edited directly via the POM programming. Then there's an item here called Edit Curve. What is meant by this? Using this, I can adapt my driving characteristics to the locomotive. For example, there's the three-point characteristic curve via the CV programming. Minimum, medium, and maximum speed. You can change these directly by dragging the items, or you can select the engine characteristic curve directly. In this way, you can decide that you don't require the maximum speed for the locomotive, but rather that you prefer finer control in the lower ranges. You can also select pre-configured curves. This is, of course, the impractical variation, as the locomotive will accelerate in the same way at all speed levels. Here, for example, you have an ice variation. Set to the lowest pre-stage, it accelerates extremely quickly, and at maximum speed, it accelerates slower. This curve is ideal for most locomotives. Depending on the curve rise of the speed level, the locomotive will accelerate faster accordingly, but you can also adjust this by tapping on the points so that you can adapt the driving characteristics to the respective locomotive. As you can see, the value is saved immediately in the locomotive decoder as soon as you change something. In manual programming, the whole thing can also be done via the POM programming. However, the programming track is the better variation. I'll show you a CV sheet here just quick. This is the CV29. You can see that several settings can be changed here. There is a brief description up here. Here at the bottom is the bitwise programming. If you read the decoder, most decoders have the default value 14. This means that bit 1 is set. You drive with 28 speed levels, the analog detection is switched on, and Railcom is activated. 
However, if you want the locomotive to always drive in the opposite direction, i.e. reverse is forwards, you can add bit 1. Now the driving direction has been reversed and the locomotive will always drive in the opposite direction. In this way, you can create your own individual settings. If, for example, you have a lot of old locomotive decoders, or the locomotive causes problems when used with your old and outdated digital components, then you can also deactivate the railcom in the locomotive decoder. To do this, just tap the bit on bit 3 and set it to 0. This will switch railcom off. In this way, I can program the locomotives relatively quickly and relatively easily. Another brief example, now the locomotive has the address 7. However, if you would prefer to have it drive on address 1, go to the programming track, read the CV1, and change the value from address 7 to 1. Then set the CV. If you now go back into the control menu, the locomotive won't drive anymore because it's still saved under address 7. So now you have to switch to rail vehicles again. Select your locomotive and ensure that address 1 is saved as the locomotive address. If you now go back into the drive menu, the locomotive will drive as the address has been changed. This basically completes our Z21 control app topic. I've shown you how to create vehicles and edit them. The signal box has been explained and I've shown you how to switch points and program decoders. So all that's left for me to do is to wish you a lot of fun with the Z21 app. I'll see you in the next video.